Yeah, you know. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dashing and we back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel review. Today we'll be checking out two replays, let's have a look here. So we have one from the previous season, we were plat 1. And we're currently gold 2 in the second season, well, you know, as of the 5th. But yeah, let's check out the game and see what we got here. Hope you all having a good day. All right. So we're using a burn deck. So this may be similar to our chain burn. Okay, so I just activate Maxi at the start of the turn. Um, we're playing through Draco. Okay. So we can just fast forward this. We kind of know what they're gonna do because we play through Draco. We're basically a pro with that deck already at the moment. Okay. So we basically just pop them on with the uh, Ring of Destruction. Now, being a true Draco player myself, I know the weakness of this deck. This deck loses to burn like no other. Like seriously. Look at this. This was a good move from his perspective, right? Because he doesn't really know uh, what deck we're using. But I guess it's kind of a giveaway if you're using Ring of Destruction. It has to be some form of burn deck. And um, using Duster, I guess it's good in the sense that if I had cards like uh, Cylinder or Dimension Wall... That would be good, but he gets the worst case scenario popping uh, Secret Blast and Bad Luck Blast. We just chain that here and we do heavy damage. Like, seriously. It's heavy damage. 1 8, 1 2 50. He pops both. That's another 2k. Oh boy. One, two, activates uh, Desires or Demise. Now check this out. I have Self-Destruct and So, Flip Effect, each player takes 1k. If the card is destroyed in any way, we do 1k. So he can't really win. Once he destroys this mon, it's GG. He pops the mon and we take him out. But he has called by. Oh my god. As soon as that happened, I was like, holy shit, did we lost? Because, you know, we're within range, right? And then I remembered, no, 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 he has, uh, he went for Demise. So because of Demise, we won't be able, to, uh, we won't be taking battle damage this turn. Yeah, you know, even I forget sometimes that Demise causes you to have zero damage, right? So, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, the weakness of the deck itself is it has no negates. Aside from Solemn Judgment, Strike, stuff like that, those are like your only negates. He can strike, he can judgment, but um, yeah, we, we can just roar here, if not go for Lucky Blast. He goes for uh, Monarch Syrup, ensuring our victory. This is GG. We just activate Luck Blast. 1-4 for the win. This is an amazingly fun deck to play. If you guys like burn decks, this is one of the uh, most fun burn decks I've ever made. Uh, similar to like the Time Lord burn. So let's check out the next game. What do we have here? I'm currently working on a Dragon Link deck. And that's kind of far in the making. So yeah. Stay tuned for that. Okay, we're running IDS. Uh, for those who don't know, that's Invoke Dogmatic Ashadol, aka Dog Style. All right. There goes Prosperity. We actually use, uh, or he he goes for Maxi rather. Um, now the thing is, when you go for Prosperity with this deck, um. Your extra deck is so important that you can all only go three most of the time. Like, 
rare situations. Like, if you're not going for game, you always just go three. So, yeah. Uh, we get a shitty hand, one of the shittiest hands we could have gotten. Um, he's able to summon Orochi. So, this kind of tells me that it could be... It could be Grand Maju OTK. That's that's actually just the only deck I know that runs uh, Orochi. So yeah, it's our turn. Uh -huh. We go for Duster just to get that card out. Imperm, okay. Okay, so we activate Meltdown, get Invoker. We change Maxi. Mm, do I want to... I wonder what do I do here. Do I go for it? Yep, I go for it. Because in a way... Um, Grand Maju doesn't really benefit that much out of um, having a lot of cards, as far as I know at least. And here's the thing, we actually summon uh, Porg instead of uh, Makaba because I thought uh, Perg would be really good in the matchup. You're not really going to negate... Uh, one Omni negate is not particularly good in the matchup when you have cards like this that can just, you know, um, just pop mons and one negate is not going to do enough. You might as well have a strong beat stick on the field. Right, and we do have a uh, droplet here as support. We get back the invoker, activate a uh, corridor, summon uh, Colossus. We go battle phase, attack both. So, yeah, this one does have piercing damage. We only do a small amount just because we use prosperity, that kind of sucks. Oh, no, no, that was the last turn. Yep. <clears throat> I was kind of doing the match, see if we could OTK there, but yeah, it really wasn't adding up. So it activates uh, Sacred Scroll, summons the Kaiju, offers our um, Thunder Colossus. I think he should have just destroyed Berg. Berg is definitely the bigger threat, but... Oh! So it's not Gren Maju. It's some kind of Gizmek, Gizmek deck. All right. This is the first time we're playing against this deck, if that's the case. I've never seen a Gizmek deck. Yeah, so the effect of Perg is it can... Um, it can attack all of the mons and thus get piercing damage. And it gets like attack boost for every card uh, the opponent has on the field. So we're able to ne negate the Gizmek there. He summons another Gizmek uh, from the field. Uh, goes to IP. <coughs> Excuse me. Links into Unicorn. Uh, pops our Droplet. We chain. Uh, uh, that's fine. Okay. This is actually what I don't like about, like, the game in general. Uh, access code, in my opinion, is so overpowered. Like, you... It's not hard to get a lot of mons on the field, like, for most decks. And you can always go, ac uh, uh, like, IP into access code. Oh, no, no, IP into one of the unicorn or one of the nightmare mons. And then to access code, and you have, like... Uh, two pops but normally you know if you go halki and all that you could have like three or four pops so like it's it's too unfair in my opinion but yeah um so this is actually gg we actually should lose here um he pops the he pops the perg and attacks uh secure huge misplay huge misplay he had Unicorn uh, in the graveyard, so he could have just used that to pop Secure, but I guess he didn't want to waste time. He just thought he could just attack over it, deal the 4k, and then uh, have Gizmek uh, finish us off. But yeah, you know, people don't read effects, right? Uh, there's no battle damage while um, Secure is on the field, so 
Yeah, he, he actually gives us a comeback potential here. Our hand is not amazing, but we can make it work. We go terraforming, get meltdown. This gets us another invoker, which is really good. I wasn't sure at this moment what the best course of action to do. Um, we summon Almirage. Uh, we offer the... What do you call this? We offer the access code for the turtle just so that, you know, he doesn't have that beat stick anymore. Okay, we actually summon Og. Oggy, as I call it. So Oggy has an effect. It can Once it's summoned, it can pop a mon. And then you can... Um, banish a fusion mon and it gets like the attack of that mon for that turn so yeah I pop that mon uh, I activate uh, invocation invoker comes back I activate the effect uh, banish uh, thunder dragon and then I attack I activate two invokers from hand that will give us 2k attack and we're gonna be able to finish the game with that. 6,600, baby. Amazing game. I'm, I'm kinda liking it. Uh, the IDS deck. Dog style, right? Everyone likes doggy. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is kinda simple in the sense that, you know, you could probably get a bot to, like, play the games for you. It's... It, it requires very little um, thinking, like, on the surface level. For the most part, people are just going to scoop when you make some kind of board with, like, Winda and, uh, you know, Makaba and shit. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be the video. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.